this was a random act. So Marcotte's murder comes less than a week after a woman who was jogging in New York was brutally murdered. Karina Vetrano's body was found just last week, just feet from the trail where she was running. Detectives found a sneaker and headphones near the crime scene. So far, though, no suspects in Vetrano's murder either. Mm. Well, have you ever gotten behind the wheel when you were really tired? You're far from alone. There's a new report out that shows tens of millions of drivers, one in every four, in fact, are sleep deprived behind the wheel every day. That's a semi right there where the driver just fell asleep apparently and drifted off the road. Last year, 5,000 people killed out on the road because of this. Experts say the increase in teen drowsy driving can be connected to the obsession with smartphones and other digital devices. Well, testing on a Zika virus vaccine is happening now at the NIH in Bethesda, but according to one of its top doctors, the solution could be years away. Dr. Anthony Fauci spoke with a radio station in New York City today. He said researchers are working fast, but a vaccine likely will not be ready until 2018 at the earliest. As for travel, Dr. Fauci said he would not let his daughters go to Brazil. He also said pregnant women should avoid parts of Florida where Zika has been transmitted transmitted by mosquitoes. Well, hopefully you got a chance to get outside tonight because this is a rare treat for us. We went from 90s and humid to 70 something degrees outside. Yeah, in fact, feels pretty nice out there. Some spots really today nice. were in the 60s even in the afternoon. Those are areas mainly to the south that had the rain, but we'll do it one more time tomorrow. Good. Yes, there's some clouds, but it's comfortable. Then the heat really builds in Wednesday and Thursday. Let's hop over the maps and I'll show you. It is a very nice evening out there. In fact, I think by tomorrow morning, actually refreshing if you're out early, walk with the dog, go to pick up the paper, maybe have a little nip in there, cinch that robe up a little bit tighter. Hopefully, please at least put the robe on if you don't have to cinch it up. Outside tomorrow morning, upper 60s from Frederick to Winchester, 72 in Leesburg, 73 right now downtown, and fairly comfortable tonight. Now, I will mention that we did have some showers earlier down to our south. Areas that got a little bit of moisture early on this afternoon and through the day, they are a little bit more susceptible to a little bit of fog to settle in. So we'll keep a close eye out for that for a little bit of patchy fog, especially in the valley areas down to the south, down through southern Maryland. It saw some of those showers earlier. And I want to show you the bigger picture because earlier in the day, we had all these showers here trying to approach to the, from the south to north and a little front push through. And we actually hit 92 downtown briefly around midday. And then temperatures drop back into the 70s by 5 o'clock this evening. So, conditioning setup in the weather pattern out there. But all this energy you see to the south will eventually lift back northward. And it's because of that lifting through tomorrow, we'll definitely have a little bit more of the cloud cover around. And we could see a passing shower, maybe even a thunderstorm. Once that system fully lifts through, that'll open the gates for heat and humidity. And that's what will start to build in mid to late week and carry us into the weekend. As we look outside, tonight into tomorrow morning. Grayer skies do return showers to our south in the morning, but progressively through the day they'll try to lift northward. I don't think it'll be widespread, but a hit or miss shower or even a storm not out of the question, especially still south of town the way I see it right now. As we go through tomorrow evening, that'll taper off somewhat and then for Wednesday our winds really kick from the south and west heat and humidity start to come on back. So through the day tomorrow temperatures in the mid 80s actually below average for a change. Not the prettiest of days and a passing shower too. Nats have a 705 game tomorrow night. Spotty sprinkle shower, yes, but shouldn't mess up the game too much. 91 for Wednesday, 91 for Thursday. The heat and humidity really start to build by the midweek. And for Thursday evening, that's I think we'll have our best shot for the Perseid Meteor Show. It's happening out there right now the next couple of nights, and it's actually fairly clear tonight, but it'll really start to peak Thursday into Friday, midnight to dawn. Look to the northeast. Just a great celestial show. By the weekend, the heat and humidity will be felt around here. Low 90s at times could feel closer to 100 degrees. That heat is with us all the way into early next week. So if you like a little bit cooler weather, enjoy tomorrow because the heat is back and it's typical Washington weather for August. Exactly. Okay, thanks, Brian. And when things cool down, you start thinking about football season. <laughs> oh, yeah. And things kind of heated up. Of course, I'm not a training camp, and now there's a little bit of drama taking Ooh. place. Week four just got interesting for the Redskins. We'll explain why. Plus, apparently $75 million just wasn't enough for this guy, Josh Norman. He just got a second job. Why? We'll explain next. To make sure our customers get the best service, I'm going undercover. I need to rent a car. Jim? Yeah. We got you covered. Elephant called. Let us know you were coming. That's refreshing. More care, less cost. Discover the elephant difference at elephant.com. Don't you dare follow your dreams. Think big.